Hello everybody, I am Swaminath. Today we are going to see about supply chain management. Concepts of supply chain management. So what do you mean by supply chain management? It is a flow of goods that transforms from goods to finished goods. That is raw material to finished goods. So that is supply chain management. So a simple definition, flow of goods the transforms from raw material to the finished goods. So, say a raw material, for example, <clears throat> take for instance a raw material. Raw material for manufacturing a plastic chair. Take a nice example, plastic chair manufacturing company. What is the raw material for manufacturing a, a plastic chair? Polyethane. So, that is polyethane is the raw material and polyethane will be checked in the quality check. So, which will be checked, the polyethane will be checked based on the density. So, it is a technical. So, they check the density of the polyethane and store it in the warehouse. Now, from the warehouse, they take it in the production and make a chair that is finished goods. Finally, sales will be done to the customer. It will be transported to the customer through logistics. And end customer will be benefited because through this. So this is supply chain management. Starts from the raw material, quality check, put it in the warehouse, production assembly, sales, and end user. So that is the process of supply chain. So it is information sharing. Raw material is procured. So Information will be shared to quality check, quality management team. And once the quality is being checked, it will be put, at, uh, uh, put away in the warehouse storage, warehouse, and then picked for production, for assembly. And again, it becomes raw metal, becomes finished goods here. Now, that finished goods will be sold to the end customer. All the information is being shared and the next is raw material procurement procurement so this is one of the main uh, part in the supply chain management procurement of the raw material so wherein you have to analyze the vendor whether the vendor is able to supply the material so in a competitive price so if if for example if the quantity is huge so whether the vendor should be able to supply that much huge quantity some 30 tons of uh, uh, polyethane he should be in a position to supply so that is the analysis of the vendor we have to analyze evaluate the vendor whether he will be able to supply 30 ton of polyethane so in a competitive price so that is raw material procurement so it is this is one of the major part of supply chain management so once the raw material is being procured and the next is quality check quality management team will be checking the quality check so if it is defective part it will be returned back to the vendor so if the de density of the polyethane for example if the density of the polyethane is not up to the expectation up to the mark it will be sent to the customer it will be sent to the vendor so quality check will be checked on the raw material purchase and the quality will be checked on the post production. So when after it becomes finished goods, raw material after it becomes finished goods here. So here after the post production quality will be again checked here. After this step quality will be checked again. That is quality check. It is also one of the main part in supply chain management. And, and the next is warehouse storage. After the raw material is being procured, quality is being checked, it will be put up, put away in the warehouse. So in a complex warehouse, if the company is a large scale company, something, something like 10,000 crores company, then they, they have a concept uh, warehouse management concept. So where they have a separate, separate warehouse. So inside warehouse, they have a storage type so what do you mean by storage type a storage type can be high rack storage 
rack storage, open storage, goods issue area or goods receiving area, receiving area. So that is storage type. So within the storage type, there will be a storage section. So what is a storage section? The smallest warehouse unit in the warehouse. It could be fast moving or slow moving. The material based on the fast moving material or store, slow moving material, it will be stored. So within the storage section, there will be a bin. So each bin storage section will be having subdivided into bins. It is a small part in the warehouse where raw material will be stored. And within the storage bin, there will be a quant. Quant is nothing but a quantity of the material. It could be each or kg or um, meters. So that is a quantity of the material. So based on that, the material will be stored. So warehouse, inside the warehouse, warehouse will be there. Warehouse storage type will be there. Storage section will be there. Inside storage section, storage bin is subdivided. Again, it is subdivided into quant. So that is warehouse storage. So main part of warehouse is warehouse storage is inventory management, goods received on raw material, goods issue on raw material, goods received on finished goods, goods, goods issue on finished goods. So that is warehouse storage. It is also one of the main part of supply chain management. And the next after warehousing production assembly will be there so production assembly is for example in a shirt manufacturing company uh, they need a cloth thread button so all these three components are bill of material cloth thread and buttons are bill of material so all these three components are combined together make a shirt okay this is finished goods this becomes finished goods. all the three components so here production assembly raw material becomes finished goods inside the production assembly plant or work center. So there are two types of manufacturing manufacturing in the production discrete and repetitive. Discrete, discrete is distinctive manufacturing, distinct manufacturing. So individual units. Processes will be keep on changing in discrete manufacturing. So whereas repetitive is process will be same, same process, same production sequence or production steps involved in repetitive manufacturing. Discrete in discrete manufacturing, example is laptops, mobile phones, all those are all discrete manufacturing. That is distinct manufacturing, each unit, each, uh, um, each mobile phone, each um, laptop. So the, those are all manufactured through discrete manufacturing. And the final thing is sales. So what do you mean by handling units here? Handling units, any idea? Handling units is nothing but finished components and the packaging material. Finished components and packaging material is handling units. Wherein, wherein customer is being, uh, material will be sent to the customer in the packaged form, that is handling units. So customer delivery, pricing will be done in the sales, goods issued to the customer and logistics and transportation will be taken care of by sales. So that is, this is also one of the main part in supply chain management. This comes under supply chain management. Sales, first is, first is rock and raw material procurement, quality check. Third is warehouse, put, put away in the warehouse. Fourth is production, production assembly, and then sales to the customer, goods issued to the customer. That is sales to the customer, pricing. And the final one is finance, accounts receivable and accounts payable. What is accounts receivable is sales, customer, customer management. Accounts payable is vendor management, selling it to the vendor. So that is the supply chain management concept, wherein, from the beginning I'm telling you, wherein raw material is being procured, quality is being checked, 
warehouse storage, put it in the warehouse, take it from the warehouse, assemble it, sell it to the customer and receivable, uh, accounts receivable and vendor account payable. So that is AP and AR. So this is the common concept of the supply chain management. If you want more about, you want any training related to supply chain management or SAP, you can get in touch with learn to win number 9940654379 and this is my mail id swaminath.com the swami at the rate gmail.com thank you